Congratulations. Just a what? No, 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 no. I thought I was here to teach inequalities. I'm not teaching that. Just kidding, guys. I just wanted to show you how sometimes in life you hear difficult words like disjunction and it makes you a little scared and say, wait, I don't even know what that is. I don't want to do it. Give things a chance. Slow down and try to walk through it. For example, I do know what disjunctions are. I'm going to teach them to you guys and show you how all it is is having two inequalities connected by the word or. Okay, so remember disjunctions have two inequalities and they are connected by the word or. So we have to do is graph one at a time. Let's graph first. X is less than or equal to zero. So I start with a closed circle at zero and I go to the left. And how do I know my arrow is pointing to the left? Because I have my X on the left also. So I draw my arrow that way, and I know because it's an OR problem, I can go ahead and shade right away. When we have OR problems, we don't have to wait for the other inequality. We can just go ahead and shade, okay? So now I'll walk through the other step and say X is greater than 4. So I'm going to go, have, go ahead and have an open circle at 4. And my arrow tells me to go to the right. So I draw my arrow to the right, and I can shade. And that's it. There's your disjunction or your two inequalities graph connected by the word or. Why? Because x can be anything less than or equal to 0 or x can also be greater than 4. So x can fall in this category or x can fall in this category. There's a disjunction. I can't even say it.